Hello everyone and welcome on back to another video. Today I wanted to show everybody how to get code mods on Bone Lab for the Quest 2. The only things you'll need to do this is an internet connection, a Quest 2, and a phone with the MetaQuest app on it. Quick note, if you're gonna do this, you will lose your Bone Lab save along with everything you've unlocked in the game. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Step 1, updating Bone Lab. So the very first thing you're gonna want to do is update your Bone Lab to the public beta, patch 3. If your game is already updated, skip to here. This is where you need your phone. Open your phone, find the MetaQuest app, and open it. Once in the app, navigate to the bottom right where it says Menu. Next, scroll down to My Library and tap it. On your library, find Bone Lab and it'll bring you to Bone Lab's store page. Scroll down until you see the words More Information and tap it. Scroll even more until you see Version and click the blue text. Now in the top left where it says Channel, tap that and change it to the Public Beta. All that's left is to go into your VR and update the game. If it doesn't need an update, it might have done it automatically. Step 2. Installing our file explorer. If you already have mobile VR stations, skip to here. And second, if you already have CX file explorer, skip to here. So next up, what you want to do is put on your Quest 2 and open the store app. Next, search up mobile VR station and hit enter. If it isn't the first option, under the apps there should be a section called App Lab. Just click show or whatever it says and then click mobile VR station. Hit OK, then install. And while Mobile VR Station is downloading, let's start on the next program. This time, open your app library and go to your MetaQuest browser. I'm not too sure what happened to my browser and the footage here, so I'll show it on my PC. The process is still pretty much the exact same and shouldn't be any harder to follow, so don't worry. Search up CX File Explorer and click on the first link. Scroll down a little and hit the green Download APK button. If you get an ad, just close it and then click the Download button once more. Open your app library again, then locate and open the mobile VR station. Click allow, wait for it to open, and then click on local files. Afterwards, click on all folders, then Android. In here, click on data, and at the bottom, click scoped storage actions. Now you want to go to the top on request access, and you should be met with a new window that looks a little something like this. On the top left, go to quest 2, and then the download folder in the center. Here, find the folder that starts with com-cx-inventor and press the full screen looking button. This should bring you to an install page, but if it doesn't, my weird way of fixing it was rapidly tapping the screen. So if it's just darker, then I guess you could try that. Now if you get any pop-ups before this screen, just click allow or accept or whatever they say. From here, click next, then next again, and flip the switch to allow access. This will open CX File Explorer, where you can close it for now. Step 3, installing Lemon Loader. This is the scariest and easiest to mess up step, so pay very close attention, please. In case you didn't know, Lemon Loader is what actually allows for the code mods to be able to run and work. The first thing to do here is go back to your browser and put in this GitHub link. If you happen to be watching this video in your Quest 2, the link is in the description you can copy and paste it. Otherwise, you're just going to have to enter it manually. Once you're on the GitHub page, scroll down until you see the files highlighted in blue you want to click on the one called androidinstaller-release.apk. After the file finishes downloading, go to your app library again and click on the search bar. To the right of the search bar where it says all, click on it and change it to unknown sources. Here you should see CX File Explorer. Open it and go to downloads. Here you should have a file with the lemon loader icon. Click it and when this pop-up comes up, click settings, then click off the pop-up and flick the switch. Hit the back arrow and open the lemon loader file again. Now you'll see the lemon installer pop up. From here, click install, and when it's done, click the done button. Press the back arrow again, and this time go to main storage, and then Android. Open the OBB folder and hit OK, then press the use this folder button. Now you should see all your games. Scroll down until you see Bone Lab and open it. Then select the two OBB files by checking both boxes, and then click move on the bottom. If you only have one OBB file, that's okay too. Now go back to the main storage area and open any folder that doesn't already have anything in it. I chose Alarms as it's right at the top. When you open the folder, just click Paste on the bottom and wait. When it's done, go back to your app library and in the Unknown Sources area you should see a new app called Lemon Installer. Click on it and open it. Select Allow, then click Bone Lab. You'll get a warning about mods, so just click Understood. Afterwards, you just want to hit the purple patch button and wait again. You'll get a pop-up about an ADB bridge. Do not, I repeat, do not click yes. 
Instead, kindly decline by hitting no and then click OK to uninstalling BoneLab. On the Lemon installer, click Settings, click off the pop-up, and allow it access once again and hit the back arrow. Wait a few seconds and then click Install for BoneLab. Now if you get a Restore App pop-up, hit Close. When it says App Installed, click Open. Every time you open BoneLab from now on, when it says Restore App, always click on Open App. If when you click Open App, BoneLab doesn't immediately open, just go to your app library and open it from there. And what you want to do is anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds after you open BoneLab, hold the power button on the side of your headset until it shuts off. Great, the hardest part is now over. You made it. Step 4. Launching BoneLab When you turn your headset back on, go to your app library and then unknown sources to CX File Explorer. Go to Main Storage and find the file in which you put your OBB files in. Select the files and hit the move button again. Hit the back arrow, go to Android, then OBB. Find BoneLab again, open the folder, click paste and wait. When they're done moving, go back to your app library and open BoneLab to make sure everything is working correctly. Remember to always click open app like earlier discussed. It can take anywhere from 5 to up to even 30 minutes before you're in the game. Make 100% sure you do not take off your headset or else you should have to wait even longer. If the game never starts, I'm sorry to say this, but you're going to have to completely redo step 3 as you've done something wrong. So, sorry if that happens to you. When in the game, you can just click the Oculus button and quit the game. Step 5. Getting a new game save. If you don't want to get a 100% game save and instead want to beat the game yourself again, skip to here. For the rest, here's what you're going to do. Open your browser and go to mod.io. Scroll a little and press Browse Games. Now look around until you find BoneLab. Then in the search bar, type Save and press Enter. Click on the first option and scroll down to here and click the Download button on the right. When it finishes downloading, go back to CX File Explorer and then before we add it to the game, go to Main Storage, Android, Data, hit OK, then click on the Use This Folder button again. Now go back and go to Downloads. Select the file and hit More in the bottom right. Then Extract, and Extract to. From here, click Main Storage, Android, Data, Find and Open the BoneLab folder, then Files, then Saves, then click Extract here. Now just hit the Overwrite button, and if you want, you can load up the game to make sure it worked. Step 6. Downloading and installing the mods. Finally. Start by going to your app library and then your browser. Search up Thunderstore and click the first link. On the website, in the top, click Communities and scroll to BoneLab. Now one of the mods you'll need for almost every other mod is BoneLib, so click on that first. Scroll down to the manual download button and click it to download the mod. You can now go back and find any other mods you want to download and, and download them the exact same way. For the purpose of this video, I chose the Avatar Scale Changer mod. Now go back to CX File Explorer and into the Downloads folder. From here, click on the BoneLib file and then click the Mods folder. Select the .dll file and click Move. Now go back into Main Storage, then Android, Data, the BoneLab folder, Files, Mods, and just paste the mod file there. Go back to the BoneLab folder file again, open it, and instead you want to open the Plugins folder. Select the DLL file and do the same thing as the mod, except instead you need to put it in the Plugins folder. And after that, just do the same thing for any other mods. Most mods don't have plugins, but ones that do, the plugins have to go in the Plugins folder. Just keep that in mind. Now load up BoneLab, and when you're in a level, open your radial menu and go to Preferences. Here you should see a Bone menu option, which is where you can access all of your code mod settings. As you can see, I'm perfectly able to scale forward, up, and down with everything working perfectly fine. Quick note, SpiderLab on Quest doesn't let you use webs for some reason, and also multiplayer mods like Fusion don't work. Yet. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it, as I've had to write the whole script for this video twice. Oh wait, I forgot about Step 7. Subscribe!